Alright, hello YouTube. It's been a couple of days and I think I uh, dabbled with enough of Yaimiko's gameplays and kit to give my honest thoughts on her. So we shall begin, yeah? We'll go through a bit of how to play her, what's her team comm and such, and uh, we'll probably do some content with that, yeah? First things first. Most of her damage is from her E and Q. Her elemental burst, her Q, does do quite a bit of damage, hitting from like... 60k to 80k ish damage depending on if you buff her or not with like anemo characters or so with um very distant set and so on right her e hits anywhere from maybe 7,000 damage to 10,000 damage based on your build um for my build i focus a little bit more on energy recharge because i want her to cast her burst more often so my my lightning hits for like around 8,008 ,008 something and some people can hit for like 12k damage at c0 even I'm running 2 Gladiator, 2 Shimanawa for the 36% attack bonus. You could run the Electro set, I'm just too lazy to run the Electro set and I don't think it makes too much of a difference anyway. Alright, so this is the flower, we have 18 crit rate, 7 crit damage, 10 attack, 5.8 ER. The feather, we have 6.5 ER, 31 crit damage, 6 crit rate, 5.8 attack. The sands have 51.8 ER, 10 attack, 12 crit damage, 14 crit rate. The goblet has 20 crit damage, 15 attack, 6 crit rate, and the uh, circlet have 16 attack and 14 crit rate. The weapon would be Kagura's Verity, R1, level 90, and she's level 90. I have 2200 attack, 100.4 crit rate, 200.8 crit damage, and 160 ER. So in terms of stats allocation, uh, across a lot of testing, you can run as low as 130 energy recharge if you have like a good team with Raiden or something, or you can run around 140 to 150, yeah? I run 160 because that's how, this is how my artifacts run, but generally above 150 energy recharge should do. As for energy recharge teammates, Fischl does function better than Raiden. Fischl will generate more energy than Raiden, but Raiden of course does more damage, yeah? So if we're, if we're gonna do a, like a quick damage test that is like very fair, we'll do this. So the Thunder Strike right now hits for 8,700 damage. With a very distant set, it hits for 11k and that's it, right? 11,000 damage per tick with very distant set. I, I'd say it's pretty okay. So that is with energy recharge timepiece as well, and very minimal buffing, right? In this team, we have very low uh, buffing from our allies. For weapons, generally, her 5 star weapon is the best for her, but Witsit is also really good. Witsit gives a little bit less base attack, right? 100 less base attack, 11 less crit damage. The passive, yeah, Amigo can technically use every single one of the passive of Witsit. She can use the buff attack, she can use the elemental damage bonus, and she can also use the elemental mastery. But the elemental mastery part is still not, not preferred. So if you have refinement 5, then 480 elemental mastery would be 72% damage on your elemental skill on your turrets versus 96%. It's less, but it's still there. But the problem is, like, throughout a lot of testing by multiple, um, the elemental mastery is nice if you get it as some random stat on your substats, but it doesn't, you wouldn't want to aim for the elemental mastery. Just take this passive as something extra, you know, just bonus extra damage. So the, for the 5 star version, Kagura Verity is the way to go. Lost Prayer is really odd to use for her because if you really want to make use of the passive, just to be on the field for a very long time. Memory of Dust and Skyward Atlas are alright to use. Memory of Dust, you have to stay on the field to stack. So once again, depends on how you play Yaimiko. If you just put 3 of her turret, hit ult, and put, put 3 more turrets and go out, then this, these two weapons aren't really good. Atlas is... no, it's always okay. Kagura is kind of designed for her. Her 4 star, Woodsit, is good. Like, that, that's the thing that stands out for me. And then Solar Pearl for the Battle Pass weapon. For Solar Pearl passive, if your normal attack hits an uh, opponent, your elemental skill and elemental burst does more damage for 6 seconds. And vice versa, if your elemental skill or elemental burst hits opponent, your normal attack does more damage, right? So it's a, it's a really good weapon. I think it's like just extra bonus damage on top of the free crit rate, yeah? So for Forza option, the only two things that stand out are Woodset and Solar Pearl. I'm not sure if there's anything else that really increase or make Yaimiko stronger. Old Sworn Eye Catalyst? Oh, you mean the... um. 
The new event one? The new event one isn't really focused on damage, right? I'm not really sure. I don't think this damage is, uh, this weapon is gonna really increase your damage a lot. It's just for the ER and it's a good balance between attack and ER, right? Hopefully that'll be done for the very quick overview over the weapons, yeah? I want to talk about the constellation next, right? And it's mostly kind of tied down to her skills, yeah? This ability costing 22 seconds and 90 energy cost is really weird. I guess they want it to be high cost so you can stack it with Raiden because that's how Raiden passive works, right? With her ult, she gets stacks the higher energy cost her allies use, right? In a way, it makes sense lore-wise that they want to tie up uh, Yai, Miko, and Raiden together, which makes it feel a little bit scummy to me because they put a 90 energy cost here and her first constellation refunds 24 energy. And refunding 24 energy is roughly 30 to 40 free energy recharge, right? Not just feel, it's really scummy. It's kind of weird, yeah, for sure. Just get C1, yeah, so that's for the elemental burst, right? For elemental skill, um, I guess the only real tip to use the elemental skill is go left and right. So you put all the three turrets together like this. Just go left and right or right and left depending on uh, however you want to do it, right? So just stack them all together. You don't have to hold um, your other direction of key. Just A and then D and then A. And it just goes automatically on a triangle for you. Just go left and right as you press E. Yeah, Miko's skill won't get deleted by bosses and even oceanate platform. Unlike uh, Geo Construct, which get instantly deleted by uh, the platform, yeah? This is another thing that was tested with Yai Miko elemental skill. Right. So Yai Miko's uh, E is roughly the same range with Albedo. If you look at that right there, it's Albedo's E range a little bit higher than Albedo's E range at C0. So at C2, I don't know how far you want to hit with it. <laughs> so Constellation, Constellation 3 increase her turret and Constellation 4 gives 20% free electro damage bonus whenever her turrets hits. Constellation 5 gives her elemental burst. And Constellation 6, ignore defense by 60%. That's like a what? 40%, 50% damage increase across all content, similar with Raiden. None of her constellation really affects her gameplay in a major way, except C1. This is basically 40% free energy recharge, which is pretty big. The rest is just more damage, right? And you can argue if more damage is essential to your kit or not, but I'd say no, right? I'd say more damage isn't essential, right? And that'll be it for Constellation. Constellation to look out for if you really want. Get C2 or C1 just for more range and stuff. C6 if you're like really, really liking Yai Miko and you want to main her. And she does a lot more damage that way. She'll probably do like what 20k damage per hit with turret and maybe 30k damage with like full buff or something with C6. But hey, I'll take my 10k per hit. For free to play pure team comp, this is what you run, right? You instead of running Sayu, you run Sucrose, but my Sucrose is level 18. Sayu can also apply Veridison set. She does an attack buff, but she heals, right? So it's a more defensive kind of type here right with the sucrose version you mainly want to auto attack on sucrose because you get a lot of swole reaction and a lot of um big damage right sucrose sucrose teams are actually really high damage even at lower investment but i just don't want to build sucrose so i'm just going to run this and mostly yai miko will be the one doing damage yeah yeah if you want like big fat damage or something there's probably other teams to do it but generally generally Team building for elemental characters are really simple. The character you want to showcase, the main character, one character that has an element that supports them for reaction, and an Nemo character. For example, this, right? Let me do an example. If you want to run the Ayaka team, you would run Ayaka, and then Diana for energy and healing, and then an Nemo character like this and then you run like a hydro character for freeze right something like that yeah uh i guess when now we do abyss uh, we do spiral abuse Bands.
The damage is pretty nice. As you wish, Am I coping? Let me weave you Rain outlines your face. Hey. Right now. Right here. Come on now. I'm not coping, right? Nothing lasts forever. I wanted to iframe that, but my boomer hand did it so late. I still got boom twice, but hey, at least I have a healer. That's fine. Oh, I forgot to put my turret. Right now, right here. I should be fine. Surely it's not that bad. Ah, f the sneeze there real quick. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Bless you. Thank you, chat. The damage numbers popping up nonstop is kind of dang. You know. And I wonder if if, if these um. These, um, what's the you call again? These are Beast Lecter, you know? Uh, increased cooldown of Yamiko is my E is gonna be on like a 40 second cooldown or something, right? Is it? Do they double the cooldown? Oh my god, the DN spam is kinda too much. Oh god. Give me the damage reduction. Sayu! Okay, Sayu! The great healer! One down, last one. Die! Die! Turret, go! 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 Okay, that's fine. <laughs> God damn, alright. Got a dash. Rain outlines you. Right here. Nah, Sayu can heal me through this. It's fine. Thank you, Sayu. Sayu, go! Oh my god, you see the Sayu damage? Right here. Look at all these damage numbers. As you wish, Let me weave you a burst. Right now, emerge. Right now. Nothing lasts forever. Emerge. Right here. This is pretty good damage, no? Beautiful. 
ending with the charge attack. That'll be probably the end of this little Yai Miko impression showcase guide, whichever it is. But hey, hope you enjoyed the video, yeah? It's been quite fun to just take things more relaxed and uh, more lower investment. Right, Biru! It's done!